Good to see you, Dave. <laughs> Back again. Thanks for every coming year. once again. Yes, Well, every year. you have such beautiful minerals. Thank we have you. to stop and see what you have. Thank you very and much. And I've already found some very interesting things we need to photograph. Excellent. So Excellent. let's just start out with a mineral that there's a number of pieces out there, but okay. this is so different. Yeah. If we can shoot this, this heliodor here, right there, if you can shoot that. And I want to mention... Heliodor is supposed to be yellow. Yeah. Most of the heliodors that are sold yeah. are light greenish. Yeah. But he, real heliodor is supposed to be a yellow. Yeah. And this has enough yellow. See, you have yeah. the little green like that, but you do have a lot of yellow in that. So well, I think it's a very unusual piece. One of the things you should know is that if you put it in a cool light, uh -huh. the blue light it turns green, and if it's all, oh, yeah, if it's all the warm that. light it turns yellow. So. The light, light, the color has a lot to do with it. Has a lot to do with it, yeah. With that? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you pointed that yeah. out. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, this shade of fluoride caught my yeah. attention. It's a beautiful piece. And uh, what people may not be able to see is that's actually gem quality. You're looking, oh, absolutely. You're looking through to the, to the uh, white matrix. That's in the back. correct. It's very yeah. beautiful, yeah. Oh, no, it's fabulous. That's what, what I mean. It just catches your eye. Yeah. It's a lovely piece. And those Thank are you. hard to get now. They are hard to find. Very, very hard to find. This window here, that's a very exceptionally large one. You know, I've seen them like that and so forth. Yeah. But that is one of the largest, if, it, if not the largest, I have seen. And, and it's from Pakistan. That it's, is it, correct. It's, and it's a very unusual piece uh, as not being smoky. That's right. Very cl and clear. So it's... Yeah. Uh, it's a good Thank piece. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. May I bring this yeah. to your attention? Yeah. This is a this is an Amesite. Oh, uh, okay. The purple crystals are Amesite, and the Amesite. greens are Titanites. Right. Uh, and out of Russia, and you see the calcite in the center. Yes. The entire crystal specimen was covered with calcite, so the calcite oh, had to be etched away in order to reveal the Amesites. Oh, that's very, very interesting. Very rare specimen. Uh, I'm glad you brought that yeah. to my attention. See, it would take uh, three hours to go through all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a wonderful exhibit in this Thank place. You. Yeah. This is a petalite crystal. Gem, oh, quality, I'm glad you petalite, brought... oh, complete that's... floater. Uh, uh, it's got I've some never, good etching on it. never seen anything like that. No, nor had we. That's Beautiful. wonderful. Yeah. A perfect miniature. Yeah. Well, I'll start out by showing you one of the carolites that is that has, we've acquired. This is what I call one, a perfect uh, crystal structure of Absolutely. the new carolite find that has just recently came out. Yes. But the real one I would like to show you is what we believe to be one of the very best that came out of the new find. Okay. This is currently just we just acquired this and oh. it's already in the collection of Paradise Woods. Okay. This is an extremely large uh, carolite on matrix. Yes, yeah, sure is. It's one of the largest ones I've ever seen. Uh, when you when we saw these new carolites that came out, we were astounded, because the original find was the biggest ones were like this. Exactly. And so these are just oh unbelievable. Stunningly. And you know I I, well, I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't show. Oh, look at the... These are Paraibas. Oh, isn't that something? These, look at that color. Yeah. That's that Paraiba Paraiba. Uh, we, we acquired three specimens of Paraiba this year, and they were in a collection. Uh, not in a collection. They were in a, a jeweler's. A, a guy in the gym trade in Thailand had them. Oh. And he didn't really want them anymore. Oh. We were able to acquire them. Very good. Uh, he only valued the gem rough, and so uh, these are these are really... Outstanding. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Here, this is a Titan. This, uh, yes, this is Sfin from Pakistan. Wow. They'll get, and if you can get the light behind it, it's just absolutely gem. Yeah. Beautiful yeah, green, not gem. It's just can beautiful you pick green. That up? Yeah. Very beautiful thin. Beautiful green. And if you look closely, you can almost see the twin plane down the. Yes. Down the down the edge. Yes. Right, right up here. Right up in there. And move it around a little bit. There we go. The color fluoride on there is like a green, like I've never seen <laughs> the likes of. Yeah. Then you got the quartz crystal. This feldspar. What? The, 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 this looks so different here. Yeah. Yeah, so it is a feldspar. It's an orthic place, yeah, feldspar. Yeah, orthic yeah. place, yeah. yeah. And the thing of it is, it's plain beautiful. It's an eye stopper.
Thank you. Yeah, so Thank that's you. the way I look at them. My personal opinion, I would have that in my collection. Yes, this is a very fine That's a, a very large tenantite okay. after azurite. It's a pseudomorph of okay. azurite. Uh, from uh, Sumib. Yes. And so we just think it's a beautiful specimen. It yeah, very and, is. Uh, beautiful. Uh, very unusual, very yeah. different. Yeah. And for the locality, it's it's a um, very large. Yeah. Can I pick that oh, up? Oh, sure. Just take yeah. it, pick it right up. and. Yeah, that's a very... I, these copper minerals, when you get crystals like that, clusters, that's a quite a un, very unusual looking yeah. thing. Yeah, I like that. Dave, I have one thing more to show you. If you just you have do. a few more minutes, uh, oh, I would sure. love to show you this is a brand new find. So let's oh, walk good. over here. By all means, <clears throat> yeah. Good morning, Bruce. How are you morning, doing? Good morning, my friend. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank good. you. Good. You know, it's always a pleasure to have Bruce and Dave in the room at the same time. How can <laughs> you, you not like this combination? There right? you go. <laughs> it's like a great... Great crystal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only here's the value in the crystal, and this guy's a sidecar, right? No, you, <laughs> no, you want to cut Should that I wear it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> anyway, I, we have Brees here this morning because Brees showed my wife and I, Stephanie and I, some new finds that we fell in love with. Okay. And we did acquire these from Brees, um, you know, because he is the source. Okay. And so we wanted to share these with you, and we have him here today because he's the expert on this. Very good. I, I would like for him to tell the story about these particular pieces. Okay. Let's so indeed, Dave, um, about three months ago, there was a new find of um, rare blue burials. Okay. Um, Cesium-rich burial named Vorobievite. Oh. You know the, the story about these? Have you heard about Vorobievite? Not really. All right. Yeah. So um, just have a look. Okay. So these come from Bad Action. Oh. Uh, from uh, the Odara mine in Badakhshan, Afghanistan. So this is Vorobievite uh, on the tourmaline. So say that real slowly. Voro, Voro, V-O, Vorobievite. Yeah. Okay. Maybe my, my accent is, you know, I don't know, but is it Vorobievite. A new, is it a new species? Well, there were a few um, pieces that were found a few years ago uh -huh. in the same place. Okay. But like... Small crystals, you know, two to three centimeters, um, rarely on matrix. Okay. And it was like a, uh, a very small pocket. Yes. You know? So the story on these is uh, a few months ago, um, a new pocket were find, was found uh, in bad action. And the quality of the crystals and the size of the crystal um, was way better than, and, than anything that in was seen before in the past. You know? Yes. And so, so it's actually a species, yeah. mineral. Yeah, that's fantastic. So it's a burial. That's a, a very it's important a burial. thing. Yeah. And the story on these is, um, when I saw that um, everything was given to Federico Pezzotta, you know, um, to make a huge study on it, because um, first of all, in Elba, uh, long ago, there were some traces and little crystals of the same species. You know, okay. So Federico Pizzotta was very excited to do the whole study, yes. and he's writing at this time the study, okay. and he explained me that at the very early stage of the formation of the pocket, these were morganites, oh. because they contain alkali and cesium, you oh. know, so at the very early stage of, of the pocket, they were pink. Okay, there, okay. that answer. Then, is. at the late stage of the crystallization, Due to the shawl, the tourmaline and, 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 and shawl present in the pocket mm -hmm. that contains uh, iron. Yes. The iron polluted, if, I, if we may say, polluted the, the morganites and changed mm -hmm. oh, the color okay. from, from pink because of the cesium and the alkali mm -hmm. to blue. Okay. So, and Federico explained me that three days ago when he... When he he gave me everything back, and he said, in his terms, believe it or not, these are blue morganite. So I was like, How what are you talking about? Yeah. And then he explained me everything, and, uh -huh. I, and, then, and then he's right. They were morganite. Yes. In terms of crystallization, they are, the structure is morganite. Yes. The chemistry is morganite. Yes. Except the iron that entered into the last stage yes. of the formation 
and change the pink to blue. How so interesting. He says the closest thing to call this is a blue morganite. How interesting. So, Has that been accepted worldwide now? Well, that's very new. On so it, that's yeah. very new. If you okay. want to know um, the, old, the old scientific aspect of it, it's going to be published in the, in the MR in the next few months. Oh, okay. There's going to be a big report on very that fine. Good. Okay. And uh, the whole study will be published. Very good. So if you want to, to have a, a look and then understand what is exactly uh, the chemistry and the formations and everything of that, that yeah. species, I get the it MR, will be yeah. in the MR soon. Yeah, very good. So you can see these are, mm -hmm. look, these are two gems. Yeah, those are the jammy ones. Now, this is interesting. So, Look at all. They're all different. Very different. That is very unusual. M much so bigger what crystals. Are they, now, okay, mineralogically speaking, what are they going to call them? Vorobiyevite. That's the name that was given a, a few oh, years ago. Okay. okay. Say However, that real they, slow. Voro. Beryl. Voro. V -O -R -O. Beryl. Yeah. Right. Vorobiyevite. Yes. The, the, it was named after a Russian gentleman. His last name was... Roboviev. Interesting. Roboviev. Okay. And uh, his A.L. Roboviev, I believe, is his name. And so it's Robovievite. It's his last name with oh, a on Okay, the end of it. I got it, yeah. And that'll be the species name. Yes, it is. So the it species, is actually a new however, species, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very however, good. There, there, was, there, there, there was never uh, a, a heavy uh, report made on these and a study. And exactly. then now there is a a deep study exactly. made by Federico. So, Very good. And then now we know exactly what it is. Very good. Everybody will That's know. That's important. Sources. You will find it listed under rosterite, oh. R-O-S-T-E-R-I-T-E, -E, on the web. So you'll see rosterite and then have this. The names are kind of interchangeable. Yes. And on Mindat, there are no pictures of either mineral listed so far. Uh, so, but so, there will be. In yes. The, and, yeah. and if you search for Varovievite, Varob <laughs> yeah, you will not so. find it on Mindat. That's oh, how interesting. New it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brian, if They're you can unique. show the, the luster yeah, yeah, and then that. look at the yeah. color here. Yeah, it's a good, rich blue color. Beautiful, beautiful how flowers. How interesting. Uh, I remember a few days ago, I saw a few agates that blow me away. And I'm in the business since my baby bottle time, you know, and so we're still learning even with agates. Oh, yeah, very you know? much That's so. what is crazy. Yeah. Just agate is the, the, oh, I love the, the start of everything. It's like yeah. quartz, you know, yeah. like... Yeah. You never expect... And That's why I collected. I'm, I'm I had a very fine agate collection. And I'm still learning. Oh, yeah. It's That's endless. It goes on and Brief. on and on. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your knowledge with us, Dave. Thank, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Always love to see you. Right. And Thanks so a lot. have a great show to the both yeah. of you. Thanks a Thank lot. You. Appreciate Thank it. you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Robert? Always Bob. fun to come into the Stone Trust booth good. because you have such good minerals. Thank you. Yeah, good, good to, to see, see you. you. And, every, you know, every time when I come in here, I see a surprise or two. Good. And when we were up at Westward Look, you really pulled out a surprise called Vorovievite. That's correct. And the surprise was that you had a couple of pieces and... Somehow they sort of married? Or they they married. Let me share yeah. with you. It's a new find of Roviavite, which okay. most people have already heard, and there were 14 pieces that yeah. we acquired. Now, and I understand that's not an accepted name yet, but that's kind of going to be accepted maybe? It is, a, it is not an accepted name yet, but there is research going on okay. about this particular okay. material. Let me share with you what happened. We're, of course, we like to have great pictures taken of all of our pieces. Sure. And Tom Spann was involved in taking the pictures Good of these man. individual pieces. Good man. And what happened was we had a couple of pieces that had tourmaline on them. Okay. And our good friend Tim Doris, who is here with us today to show us how this works, with his eagle eye <laughs> looked down and his irresistible desire to try to fit things together. Yeah, he, he's done that before with he's, Amazonite, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think he's done a few pieces of Amazonite, yeah. Yeah, he can probably see things from a long distance. And yeah. he looked down and he tried to do a couple of things, and I want him to show you what okay. happened. Okay. Hello. Tim, hi, Tim. Good to hi, see Tom. you again. Tell me about these. So I was handed these to put away because we share a room with Tom Spann at the okay. Western Look. And uh, I picked one up, and, I, and a beautiful piece with the tourmaline. Yeah. And then I saw this one, which was just sitting down, and I saw a little bit of tourmaline, and we decided to make it significantly better. Oh, look at that. 
What a great miniature. What are the chances of actually finding a fit from yeah. a discovery yeah, 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 that's yeah. been prepped, that's yeah. gone through everything? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. It is. Good eye. Thanks. Good eye. Yeah. But what, what are the chances? Well, you think about know, it. This I comes know. all the way I know. from Afghanistan or Pakistan? Af Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Okay. And, you know, oh, it's traveled yeah. such a great distance. Normally these things get separated. Sure. And You're been, never going to see them again. You're never yeah. going to marry yeah. them again. And, and they've been here handled. they are. They've been handled and handled and yeah. prepped. It's wonderful. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I thought right. Stone Trust would enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm as a sure. matter of fact, so unfortunately, I, uh, when Tim came down to the room, you took Stephanie down to your room to take a look at them, and she was surprised. She walked down to our room again. You came down with her, and she said, I have something. Tim has something he wants to show you. And when you showed me the pieces, I had no idea what was going on. Was I fun. thought maybe something had broken or something had fallen off. And <laughs> I, I was very uh, scared that yeah. this is actually what took place. Yeah, yeah, I heard about this. This is what took place. Oh, my God. There. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you. I love you, You're Mr. Tim. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fantastic. <gasps> Clark, the magician. Did, did Tom take a picture of it like that? No. No. Oh my God! I just found it and grabbed my sister to come over and get you guys. <laughs> oh my God! That becomes one special. And, <laughs> and I must tell you, my wife asked me. She says, "Do you know any other words besides oh my God?" And I guess I didn't at that time, but I was felt like a kid in the candy store. And I'll do. Tim, thank you so much for your eagle. I very much appreciate doing that. That was great. It's all, it's welcome. always fun to see a mineral dealer who ought to be jaded about yes. fine minerals. You've done it so much to suddenly show his true colors. True colors, yes. <laughs> It'll be an embarrassing moment, yes. But it was uh, worth it was worth every second. Not embarrassing. Thank you. Revealing. Revealing. Yes. Revealing. Yes.